Hello everyone, in this two minute tidbit we'll take a look at using both cores of your ESP32 using the Arduino IDE. All Arduinos can do a type of multitasking, as you can see here the LEDs are blinking at a different rate. This is using a technique described in the blink without delay example, where you use millis to decide if a task is due to run. This works out fine because like most things you do on the Arduino, the digital write happens so fast that it doesn't impact the timing loop at all. If we upload the same sketch to the ESP8266, it works as expected. But now if we change the sketch so instead of blinking the red LED we make a network call instead, the green LED does not work properly at all anymore. This is because of how long network calls take, especially secure ones. So as you can see, the device is still in the middle of the network call task when it should be toggling the LED. If we upload the same sketch to the ESP32, we see the same behavior. But unlike the other Arduinos, we can do something about it. Andrea Spice has a really good video about this same topic where he goes into details about how the ESP32 has two fast cores, but the Arduino IDE only uses one of them. I'm going to go through one of the examples that Andreas provides in his video, but I definitely recommend checking his video out, it's really good. To convert the example over to one that uses both cores is actually pretty straightforward. First you need to define a task handle, I've called mine task1. Next you need to create a function that's going to run on the second core. The function needs to have a void star parameter like this, and also needs to have an endless loop inside it. And finally in the setup we call x task create pin to core. Andreas' video goes through all the different parameters here, but the important one for us is the task function, the task handle, and then that we want it to run on core 0. You can now remove any code for blinking the green LED from the loop. And now the LED blinks perfectly every half a second. That's because it's core 0 that's looking after blinking the LED, while core 1 is busy making the network call. To give a more practical example of how this is useful, one of these LED matrix displays every time the text moves is a task in the Arduino. So for this social media stats counter I built using an ESP8266, I got around this issue by stopping the text on the screen when there was a value displayed. This gave me a chance to make a background call to fetch new data. But by making use of both cores of the ESP32, using one to drive the display and the other to make the network calls, we can continuously scroll the text even when we're fetching that data from the internet. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the ESP8266, but stuff like this is making me really excited about the ESP32. Hopefully you found this video interesting. I'll leave a link to all the code examples in the description. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks a lot.